to be honest, I quite simply couldn't believe it. I was asked by a gentleman, would you be prepared to go to London and become the next Queen's Piper? That's, that's when I thought, my goodness, this is, this is the most bizarre thing in the world. My name's Scott Methvin, I am a professional bagpiper and I was the 15th Sovereign's Piper since 1843. I grew up in that small village called Gurgunuk, which is just at the front of Stirling Castle. Uh, and if anyone had said to me, in 30 years' time, you'll actually be living in Buckingham Palace, I, I don't think I would have believed you, to be perfectly honest. At nine o'clock every morning, you would play the pipes. And so you'll do seven minutes, and then you'll tune your drones for a, for a wee minute, and then another seven minutes. On my first day, I was told I would be an honorary page of the peasants, which I had no idea coming from a council house, what that would involve, but it sounded quite serious, really escorting Her Majesty the Queen around and being there to support any guests that come along, introduce them to the protocols and the do's and don'ts. Playing the pipes through, through the school ages was the key and a really good foundation. And I was just keen to join the army. So away I went to the uh, 1st Battalion, the and Southern Highlanders, and really never looked back. Played all over the world, just a young piper, learning my trade. The message is, tell my brother to leave the village and where are the foreigners? Roger so far. I did two tours of Afghanistan. Uh, I was there in 2008 and 2010, both for seven month periods. At the end of when I was the pipe major of the Argyle and Southern Highlanders, this would have been 2013, when the regiment was being reduced to a company strength. Her Majesty was coming for her last visit sat straight across from Her Majesty the Queen. And I never knew that this was in turn uh, a sort of informal, formal interview. I said yes, uh, and then I went and asked my wife, uh, and she said I had to go for it. And I, I didn't really know what it entailed, to be perfectly honest, uh, because it's something you only see in the history books. You are thrust right into the inner circle of the monarchy. The cliched word would be surreal. And I did ask the question, do, do you actually like the pipes? And Her Majesty did say to me that she, she really did enjoy the pipes. So this was uh, 2017 up in Balmoral, and this is the uniform that I would wear uh, at dinner uh, for, for, for the Queen. So around the dinner tables for all the members of the family. There were always some good, good uh, bits of banter and, and one-liners. Uh, that I would come out with, and, uh, and it, it was just really enjoyable. You know, uh, Her Majesty supported me with, with, with everything that, that went on with my private life. What happened was, uh, when I was up in Balmoral uh, in 2017, uh, my, my wife wasn't feeling well, my wife Morvin, uh, and she was diagnosed with stage four terminal cancer. I said, what do I do with my kids here? You know, what do I do with them? And I, and I was told just to go. They were staying in Balmoral Castle and get looked after while I was away looking after my wife. And she was given only just weeks to live, you know, and, and, and she managed to kind of last a year. I went back to work uh, and we came down and stayed at Windsor Castle. Her Majesty gave permission for to come and stay there. And, you know, that's memories. And, you know, people genuinely think, oh, what you will about the royal family or the Queen, they, they pulled it out of the bag for me. <laughs>